Steve Deans, thank you so much for visiting Employment Attorney CA or EmploymentAttorneyCAL.com. We are one of California's largest plaintiff-only employment law firms, which means we only represent you, the employee, never the country, uh, company. We've actually sued over the years about 300 of the Fortune 500 largest and have probably a 98% success rate. So we hope that we can share a few ideas with you today. The subject matter is going to be generally, who should you choose to be your attorney for your employment related dispute? There are many good firms out there. We're glad that you've taken a moment to look at ours. Um, but I'm gonna give you some ideas that I think you should apply as a matrix or test to any law firm that you're thinking of using for your employment related dispute. I think the most important thing is care. There's an old saying that uh, a client doesn't care how much we know about the law until they know how much we care about their case. So we at Stephen Dans and Associates are trained to listen and to find out exactly not only what are the facts of your case, but what are your motivators? What is it that you want out of the case? Whether it's a monetary settlement via severance agreement, uh, whether it's to have injunctive relief to stop a particularly egregious, outrageous practice, um, uh, letter of recommendation even. Those are the kinds of things that we're looking for. <clears throat> so we hope that you'll find a firm that does care about your firm because we all sell the same law. We may know it well here, but we all sell the same law. The difference many times is whether the law firm really cares and hears you and lets you do most of the talking. That's number one. Number two, does your law firm have a team approach so that not only do we have great administrators like Jeannie, who's holding this camera right now, um, or um, do we have another attorney on the firm? At Dams and Associates, you will always have two attorneys, an associate uh, co-counsel who does the day-to-day -day work, and myself, Steve Dams, who's available to consult and come to trials and mediations. By the way, most cases do settle at mediation. So we can talk about that in another video. <clears throat> also, arbitration is an important thing. We'll want to know whether your case was actually destined for arbitration because of an agreement you may have signed when you started to work for that company. If so, we will go through that arbitration agreement with you uh, point by point and give you a probability of whether or not uh, the company has successfully motivated you or <clears throat> given you uh, an opportunity not to go to jury, which we think is not good, not in the client's best interest, but we need to read the agreement. Does the law firm have resources upon which to uh, litigate your case? Litigation is not cheap, and while it is added to your cost, there's still a lot of money that has to be expended. We do it gladly, because if we don't, if we don't expend enough money, then your law firm is not gonna have the depositions, the on-site inspections, the evidence, possibly expert witnesses, needed to win your case. So there's an old saying, how much money should you spend for costs on a case? And I like to say, it's like Abraham Lincoln was once asked how long a man's legs should be. They should be just long enough to reach the ground. Well, we feel the same way about expenses. We want to spend enough money in advance, all at our risk, you're never required to repay us, uh, in order to win your case but not so much that it discourages you from taking a reasonable settlement offer because the costs were out of control. Finally, is your law firm a subject matter expert, whether by industry, by legal is issue, or preferably by both? And a third factor we could add under subject matter expertise is what we might call collateral expertise or knowledge of the law surrounding your law. For example, Many of our clients, they come to us with a discrimination issue, but they have a labor code issue, or they have a work comp issue, or they have something that the federal government would want to know about as a federal false claim act case. We have expertise in all those fields. We have our own website, federalfalseclaimsattorneys.com, but you want to make sure whichever law firm you select, they have the subject matter expertise, whether it be aerospace, healthcare, uh, accounting, securities, real estate, uh, big law firm, hopefully like ours, would have subject matter expertise and the resources to hire consultants if we need that as well. So again, thank you for watching this video. We will be happy to help you in any way we can.